but I didn't know he'd speak to you. I didn't know that he could talk to you or me. I just, you know, believed there was a God. I had a dream when I was a little boy. And I believe God gave me that dream because I've always remembered him. And I was probably maybe six or seven years old. And Jesus was walking up the road in front of me. He was on this little road. And, of course, as a, I guess maybe just a kid's uh, vision of Jesus, he had a staff. And I was lagging behind. And he'd look back at me. He said, now, now come on, follow me. That's what, he, that's what he said. And I'd take out and he'd take out, and, you know, but I never would catch up. And, and he'd go a little ways and he'd stop and he'd look back and he'd say, come on now, follow me. I never have forgot that. <laughs> Amen. So even as I ble a little child, he was beginning to speak, you know. Praise God. Do you remember uh, Samuel, I believe it was, when he was a little boy? It's, it's the time that the Lord was going to begin to speak to him, and Eli was asleep, and they were all asleep, and the Lord said, Samuel. Well, the little boy got up running there to Eli, and he said, Eli, did you, did you holler, did you call my name? He said, no, go get back in the bed. Well, again, Samuel, he run back in there to Eli, and he said, Eli, did you call me? He said, no, I didn't call you. Go back and get in the bed. And again, the third time, Samuel, he went back in and said, did you call for me? Well, but this time Eli knew something was going on. He said, no, it wasn't me, but the next time you hear that, say speak Lord for your servant hears the Bible said Samuel at this time didn't know the voice of the Lord he had never had the Lord revealed to him but he's beginning and so the next time he spoke Samuel he said, speak for your servant heareth. And the Lord started talking to him. Told him all those things, things that was going to happen to Eli and so forth and so on. The story's a long story there. But the point is he began to speak to him as a child. But if you don't know, you don't know. But let me tell you something tonight. And I'm, I'm going to quit and let Brother Herb come up. God has got a plan for your life. I don't care who you are. You listen to me. He's got a plan for your life. You might say, oh, no, I don't think so. He does. Praise God. Oh, yes, he does. He loves you. He cares about you. He don't want you to perish in any wise. He don't want, he don't want any harm to your life in any, any way. He wants to love you and take care of you for the rest of your life. And then you're going to go to spend the rest of eternity with him. That's the will of God. He wants you. And he wants you to want him. So if he's speaking to you, give your heart to him. Say, Lord, here I am. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will answer, I'll come in and I'll sup with him. And he with me. Now this is something most people don't know. That he's going to come in and he's going to sup with you. He'll fellowship with you. I think Jesus needs to be real in this way to everybody. And so he will speak to you. And I've had the Lord speak to me different times. I've had different things. And thank God all through the years he's helped me and blessed me. And, and now at this time he's, he's helping me and blessing me. You understand? And we just can't make it without him. And we can't make him without the precious Holy Spirit helping us and anointing us and showing us and revealing to us. Argue all you want to, but it's good. Amen. The Holy Spirit is good. Amen. Argue all you want to. I'll just enjoy the blessing while you're arguing. <laughs> while you're discussing all your doctrines, we'll be fellowshipping.
Praise the Lord. And things will be at work and Williams is arguing about it. <laughs> While you're arguing that God don't heal, I'll be healed. <laughs> Amen. While you're saying God don't speak it to anybody anymore, he'll be speaking to me, I'll be listening. So speak on, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you too. Amen. Praise God. You can hear the voice of the Lord if you'll give him your heart. Concerning the baptism of the Holy Spirit one night and I knew I needed him. You can argue about it all you want to. It's real. He's real. It's of God. It's in the Word. Word teaches it throughout. You need to see it. You need to understand it. You get, lay your arguments down and just believe what God said. It's easy to do. All you got to do is believe it. Your doctrines, lay them aside. Get a hold of the word. I realized I was called into ministry and I said, Lord, you know nobody can teach your word or preach your word without being baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. I said, I need him. Amen. 